Oh my god, Familia, what a way to start Thursday. And we thought yesterday with the Fantastic Four casting news was going to be epic. I have to tell you, oh my gosh, the X-Men 97 trailer looks so good. Familia, it is finally here. The X-Men 97 trailer, I, I saw it once. I, I had to see it because I wanted to post it. I've been up all night. I've seen some of the images come in overseas from Empire Magazine. They have a whole feature on X-Men 97 today. They interview Bo. I am so excited for this. I, I'm i speechless. I truly am speechless. It looks so good. So I figure we could look at the trailer together as a familia, and then we will break it down. Oh, I love this vibe. Holy frack. Oh. That animation looks so good. Oh, we're gonna go back to that. I wonder what that headline says. New York Post. Oh, they're burying the... Is that just an empty casket? Ooh, are they storming the mansion? Full of court. Why do we have statues of Xavier and Magneto? Is Magneto dead too? Well, or will he die? Get this done by working together as a team. Jeez, Bob, keep buzzing in my ear. Oh my gosh! Look at Storm. Oh, Bishop. It looks so good. Oh. I want to say, is that Gene? <laughs> Could be Maddie. Oh my god! I love this. Oh my gosh! To me, my ex. Oh. That is epic. Familia. I... Magneto. The last will and testament of Charles Xavier. Everything he... The last will and testament of Charles Xavier was during All New X-Men. Was a story from All New X-Men. Wow. I'm kind of emotional. I'm not going to lie to you. I'm, I'm sorry. I, I, I see people doing this on YouTube all the time where they get like emotional and I'm like, what? Really? Come on. Like, no. What is, don't be emotional. Like you're crying for the cap. No, it really is. It, it's something about talking about this out loud and, and seeing the series return after 30 years. Oh, my gosh. It's great. It's such a wonderful. It, it looks good. I I. I, there is nothing to hate. Familia, X-Men fans, I know we, we're very vocal, we're very passionate, but I'm telling you, this is as good as it's going to get. I, I, I'm not saying tomorrow we, we were not going to get something bigger or better. Maybe the MCU is going to really blow us away with the X-Men when they introduce them officially, but as of right now, as an X-Men fan, this is as good as it gets, and it is pretty damn awesome. All right, let's break down this trailer. So it's kind of like it's doing the retro vintage thing here, right? And there's the photo that Wolverine, you know, holds of Gene and Cyclops. And then one of the Toy Biz Series 1 Colossus. Love that. That was a great wave. You got Storm on that too. Storm and Colossus and Cyclops. Those three were my favorite figures from that Toy Biz wave. By the way, in back in the day, oh, Grandpa Dayspring is going to tell you this. Back in the day, they were $4.99. Four ninety nine for those figures. Okay. Saturday, check your local listings. I, you know, I don't know if that's it was created for this or if that was really something that aired. I will say that you know the voice of the announcer sounds pretty accurate to Fox Kids. All right, so this is the last episode, graduation day, where. Xavier, air quote, dies, but at the end of the scene, Lalandra comes and takes him off into Shi'ar space, sort of like what happened in the comics as well. And then, you know, in the comics, Magneto takes over the X-Men, which, as we saw with this trailer, Magneto is going to inherit everything from Xavier. Oh, gosh. Oh, 18 minutes, and it already has over 90,000 views. Yeah, that's how excited we are. Listen... We've talked to Larry Houston about the animation in this final season. The thing is, they didn't know they were going to come back for these final episodes. They did think Beyond Good and Evil would be the final season. But then they kind of got the word last minute that they were going to come back. Larry Houston was already booked and blessed for another gig. So his friend took over. I'm forgetting the name of the animator. But listen, it was, it was all done last minute. I know a lot of people are like, eh 
about that, but what are you going to do about it? I, the animation doesn't bother me that much. And at the time, I love that Jean had her hair down. Love that Jean had her hair down. So that's the one thing that I just don't like about this part of the trailer where Xavier is like, you know, looks like he just died. Why didn't they show the part where Lalandra comes in to rescue him? Fate lies in our hands now. I is someone needs to remind me where this line is. I don't believe it happened in graduation day. I could be wrong. I haven't seen graduation day in a couple of years, but I know in the Phoenix saga, Gene says in our hands lies the fate of an entire galaxy of lives beyond measure. Fate lies in our hands now. Sorry. I'm going to harp on that. Okay. Well, anyway, so that was the final episode. That's the final clip of the X-Men Let's see. Let me just see. Is Magneto in the shot? Yeah, Magneto is in that shot. That's the last we saw of X Men, the animated series. And now we're now we're seeing more. I love how this Marvel Animations logo looks like. Oh, Chef's Kiss looks so good. That looks to be Manhattan. I think it looks or or, or Madripoor maybe. I don't know. It looks like I'm going to assume Manhattan or Madripoor. One or the what? One or the other. Right, city where mutants are being persecuted. Is that Callisto? I think, yes, that's Callisto and Leech. Oh, did not see it wholesale. Oh, I love that. Yep. Okay, and it looks like they're being hunted by, I'm going to assume Sentinels, but security, security enforcer people. Hip skate. All right, let's see. Okay, briefly, when I saw this, I thought that was dupe. Oh, look at that. There's dust. Is that Banshee? Oh, okay. Well, Inside Mutant Fashion Show. Okay, so Jumbo is going to come. And that's the Daily Bugle. Oh, my God. Okay. I was like, is that the New York Post? Well, I guess, is the Daily Bugle a stand-in for the New York Post? I don't know. But, okay, Inside Scoop Mutant Fashion Show. Okay, well, my, my question would be, I mean, is that Dust and Banshee? Is that supposed to be Dust and Banshee? I don't know who she is in green. Wow. Like my, is that, she She looks like she's dressed up as Goop or Dupe there. Goop. I'm such a fan of Gwyneth Paltrow's Goop. She looks like Dupe there. I don't know. But anyways, that I'm assuming is supposed to be Dust and Banshee. Is it really them? I don't, I don't know. Because it's a muted fashion show. And as far as we know, Banshee is not a, a model. I mean, Dust could be a model in this universe since she hasn't been introduced before. Maybe Banshee, after he was done with the Phoenix Saga, he was here like, peace out. Moira, you're crazy with your multiple lives. <laughs> and he just moved to New York and was a fashion model. Hey, listen, I love it. Okay, let's see. Is Spider-Man a mutant? And Hellfire Gala! Oh my god! Hellfire Gala. I am flabbergasted. Is Spider-Man mutant? So is Spider-Man going to appear? A. Daily Bugle. Spider-Man going to appear? Secondly, Hellfire Gala? We all know what happens at the Hellfire Gala. <laughs> the professor. Okay, so this is the part where maybe I don't... I don't really fully understand it. Maybe someone in the comments below can like explain it to me. Why why do they have like sort of like a shrine to Xavier? Because he's not dead. I mean, Lalandra very much said at the end of the finale, so he's like, he's unsavable by your standards of medicine, but for the Shi'ar, we can treat him. So he's not dead. Like they're 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 burying something. Like this is a casket. Is it an empty casket? Is it just symbolic? Like, did he come back from Shi'ar space and die? I don't know. We'll figure it out. Okay. Um, so their protests here. Stop mutants. Back to where you came from. Evolution is, I can't read that, and down with mutants. Now, that's interesting. I thought that some of the earlier copy we got was that the the tide with with mutants in, in society, the tide had sort of changed, and they were starting to see a lot more of an acceptance. Maybe they'll I guess there has to be a time jump. There, there's some kind of time jump happening here because Jean is not pregnant. At least we don't see her visibly pregnant 
at the end of the series. So here that we see her fully pregnant, there has to be a couple months time jump here. There's the Friends of Humanity back there. Friends of Humanity, they scared me as a kid. They scare me now as an adult. Um, are they raiding the mansion? Is this going to be a homage to X2 with Stryker raiding the mansion? All right, Sentinels, who's that there? I, I can't make out who that person is. But Sentinels are back. The World Court, Magneto is on trial. He's wearing his purple costume. That is directly from the comics. Is this a savage land? Okay, so maybe this is a savage land. And because Magneto and Xavier were there for season two, they now have built homages to them. So that would explain why Magneto has a statue and why Xavier also has a statue. But Xavier didn't have his chair in the savage land. So perhaps this is not the savage land. Because remember, the thing in the savage land was that Xavier could walk. I don't know. That looks like the Savage Line to me. I'm open to being wrong. All right, so the X-Men are coming into some kind of facility here. Cyclops using his powers. Gambit there. Storm. Oh, she looks so good. Wolverine. Popping his claws. Okay, so this is a Comic-Con footage, by the way, because it described all of them in the X-Jet. This is the Comic-Con footage, I'm assuming. And this is where people got confused thinking that Angel was on the team because this, the Blackbird is going to be, a Sentinel is going to attack it. The X-Men are going to go flying through the air and Morph will shapeshift into Archangel. That, someone was telling me that was Comic-Con footage. So I'm assuming this must be it because it's all the characters that are on it. Jeez, bub, keep buzzing in my ear. Oh, are we going to get the rivalry between... Oh, man, that animation looks great. I will say, Cal Dodd sounds very different. I I think Cal Dodd, Lenore Zan, and George Buza, those three, Rogue, Beast, and Wolverine, are confirmed to be coming back in their original roles. I mean, those are for sure confirmed. Um, she sounded a little different. Not bad, just it sounds different from the original animated series. This March, March 20th. There's a blackbird. Oh, gosh, this animation. I can't. It's so good. Oh, look at Storm. Oh, that BDE Storm, the X-Men return. Okay. This looks like it's a party at the Savage Land somewhere. They're having a party somewhere. There's Jubilee blowing her gum. Okay, so the X-Men are going to rave. Oh, there's Morph in his normal human morph. X-Men 92 form with Rogue, with Wolverine in his Canadian lumberjack outfit. Jubilee, she's looking like she's ready to party in Gambit. Oh, look at Gambit. Such a stud. Bishop looks so good. Oh my god, I can't. I I can't. That, that shot of Bishop just looks too good. Oh, the animation looks so good, Familia. Oh, there we are. Bebe, Bebe and Jean. Okay. Let's talk about it. Let's talk about it right here. I don't believe that's Jean. I think that is Madeline Pryor. I think that is Maddie. I think maybe at one point in between the series, Maddie just came in, right? I I have said this before. I don't like the idea that Jean and Maddie are just kind of like swapped out. But the more I've kind of seen the X-Men 97, you know, images come out and Jean has like, Long hair, but it kind of like it the way it's drawn and styled is that she has hair that falls on her shoulders. That's very reminiscent of Paul Smith, how he drew Madeline Pryor. And if it were anyone else, I would just be like, oh, this is a design coincidence, but it's Bo DeMaio, it's Lee Waltz, it's Larry Houston. I don't believe it's coincidence. And right here, you can just see it right there. That part of her hair is there. It's Madeline. How is it Madeline? I don't know. I would have loved the idea that G this is... Jean Jean, she gives birth to Bebe Rachel or Bebe Cable, whichever. And then to for the X-Men to be thrown off, Madeline Pryor just kind of comes in and it everyone's like, well, which one's the real Jean? You know, like something like that. But I think this is Madeline Pryor. I think it's Mad Maddie. Yeah, look at that. Oh, <gasps> you know, we love Lenore Sand. You know how much we love Lenore Zan here. Rogue looks great. Oh my gosh. I love this shot. 
Oh my God. Oh, this is what I want to see the X Men on the field fighting Sentinels. I know that's so stupid, Familia. We've evolved such past that in, in the Krakoan age. And let me tell you something when the Krakoan age was good, it was good. But this, the X Men like this, they just make me happy. It just makes me happy to see them on the field battling Sentinels. It's so ridiculous. In my older age, this is the stuff that makes me happy. Oh, gosh. It looks so good. The anime. Oh, best part of the trailer. I can't believe I'm saying this. Best part of the trailer. Because, you know, I'm all about Rogue and Jean and, for me, and Storm with her lightning. I love my ex-ladies. I've never been the, pow, wow, you know, like, see the X-Men as just straight-up heroes. And I've talked about this before. When I was growing up, I saw the mutant metaphor, but my cousin saw superheroes. So I, where I was resonating with the X-Men because of the metaphor with mutants and being an outcast my cousin was just like gambit is cool wolverine is the best and like pop claws so as an adult i really truly appreciate my cousin with his love for the x-men for this reason because this gambit mounting wolverine and them fusing their powers it's kind of like ultimate lines too right where they fuse their powers forgetting what they called it in ultimate lines too but i love seeing this what's the smile on my face I'm happy right there. Give me an entire episode of the X Men just fusing their powers. Looks so good. So, oh man. I, at first, though, when I was watching this trailer, I got kind of nervous because I was just talking about Charles Soule when he wrote Return of Wolverine and how he had the burning white hot claws. It made me nervous. This does not make me nervous. Obviously, it's Gambit. Oh, look how good Gambit looks. Mon ami. How could you how could you not love that scene? To me, my X-Men is the equivalent of Avengers Assemble. And I love that Cyclops gets to say it. I mean, traditionally, Xavier has been the one who says to me, my X-Men. I love it. Cyclops is deserving of that line. Oh, looks so good. Looks so good. So this is also part of the San Diego Comic-Con footage that was shown because this scene was described as well out there where the X-Men land on the ground and Cyclops says to me, my X-Men, and they all form around him. So this is it here. There's Morph. There's Storm. I've seen a lot of debates on Storm's mohawk. I like the mohawk. It looks good. Listen, she had long hair for the entirety of the series. Storm in the comics has... Changed her hair multiple times. I am 100% fine with the Mohawk. I think the Mohawk looks great. I have no qualms with Mohawk. Gambit looks really great there. So, do we need to say anything about Rogue, a.k.a. Lenore Zan? Literally, she looks so powerful. So happy she's there. Bishop, wonderful addition to the team. So happy Bishop is there. I'm curious why and how he, can't, he comes back. And we got Beast. And listen, you know how I feel about Beast, but let me tell you. The animated series beast, I'm always going to love. And Wolverine. That's it. I'm happy here. If you would just have Jean in her 90s here, I would be really happy. Logo looks great. Very crisp. Streaming March 20th. Okay, so the last will and testament of Charles Xavier. My only thing here is, why is it a book? <laughs> you know? Would he not have it digitally? Would he not just have it printed out in a manila folder? I, I love that it's an actual book. And listen, I, I'm okay with it. And and it has little metal edges so Magneto can like hold it. I love it. Look at him turning around there. Oh, he looks so evil. Okay. Oh, and Jean is pregnant there. I was I was like, Jean is a referee. Okay, so she's pregnant. So um, or Jean or Maddie. She has her ponytail. Maybe it's Jean. I love listen. Backwards hat in the 90s. That's always going to be my thing. I'm always going to love it. Cyclops looks great. There's Stor Storm's like ready to fight. Storm and Rogue are like ready to fight. Like they all look so angry. Look at she Look at that side eye that our God Queen is giving her, giving him. Oh my gosh. So everything he built now belongs to Magneto. I have to tell you, I didn't think Magneto was going to be that evil. In this, I mean, he looks pretty evil, like looking at the team there. Um, what do you want me to say, Familia? I think it looks perfect. Looks absolutely perfect. 
All right, so drop your feels below and let's discuss as a community. We can chat about it. What did you like? What don't you like? What are your theories? Do we think that's Madeline? Is it going to be Baby Cable or Baby Rachel? Leave it in the comments below.